Hey everybody, this is the guy. Thank you for watching this video. Today's video will be, I'm gonna show you how to fade an image from black and white to color. Okay, so, you're gonna need Adobe Fabric CS3 or CS4. Okay, so I have CS4. Please do not ask me how to get it for free. You can at least download the trial. Links will be in the video description, right? Okay, so, first off, obviously, you're gonna need an image, of course. An image that you want to fade from black and white to color. So let's just choose this this picture um let's see this one so i'm just gonna copy it on my desktop sorry about that guys okay so paste it on my desktop Okay so, okay, so let's now open Adobe Firex CS3 or CS4. Okay, so then let's, let's open that document or that picture or image or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's just open it here in Adobe Firex and just wait for it to load. Okay, so here it is. If your image is big, it's too if it's too big like this, you just zoom it up. You can just hold con hit control minus on the keyboard. I don't have control minus because this is a laptop. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it fifty percent. Okay, so if it's like this now, let's make it, let's go to the rectangle tool over here. It's like the rectangle tool, and it's just. Okay, what is Okay, sorry about that guys. Okay, so let's grab the rectangle tool here. Then just make a very very big okay, so let's zoom it out a little more. And make a very very big rectangle. Make the height very very big, like two times bigger than this than the actual image. Okay, so make the width just half of the image okay so so we just drag it then you have this it should be white if not if it's not white let's go to the pointer tool over here let's go to the pointer tool and let's change the color to white it should be white no other color okay so then let's change this edge to feather then this will give the effect and then you can change the amount of feather or fadeness or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I want 100 or it can be whatever you want. Okay, so it will give you this effect. Okay, so then go to here, this normal thing, the blend mode, click it. And let's look for, so about that, the mouse is too sensitive. Okay, ah. Uh, Oh, so about that, guys. The mouse is okay. So let's ah. Uh... Oh. Okay, so just look for color and select color. Okay, so then that will give you this nice effect. So about that. Okay, so it will give you this nice fade effect. Okay, so as you can see, this is the rectangle. As you can see, I'm moving it. You can move it to wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to move it back to position. Okay, so that's it. That's how to, That's basically how to do it. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And also, please visit my website at incredigate.com. Bye.